copyright notices if you wish to read pause the video the original videos are linked in the description down below enjoy all right then so in this one we're going to be looking at taking our rights back in his interaction outside of a jewelry shop or well inside and outside and then his interaction with the police when the police turn up this is going to be a pretty long video because there's quite a lot to it but let's just get straight into it just having a look why are you holding the camera oh because i'm a photographer yeah but we don't want to be photographed inside here i won't photograph you no i mean in here not to photograph anything okay probably. just outside then why you want to take outside because i'm a photographer well, you can photograph something else and then outside. No, I'm going to put just your window, that's all. No, we Thank want you. you to photograph our window, sorry. No, I, I will be. Uh, can I speak to the manager then? Are you the manager? Can you go out, please? Yeah, I'm just going to tell you what I'm doing. I'm just going to take some... I don't want you to tell me anything. OK, OK. No problem, sir, no problem. OK, thank you. Just going to take some pictures, that's all. Come back here, guys. So we went in to have to be polite. And uh, that was the response. Are you going or shall I call the police? Well, can I ask what you're going to call the police for? Because I'm you just came checking. inside my shop. Yeah, just to be polite. Cover. Just to be polite. With your face covered. OK. So? All right, and so as you've seen, they did go into the shop. He was trying to explain what he was doing, and they didn't want to. They didn't want to know. But now they're going to make a big deal that he's got his face covered. Do you think they made that big deal during COVID, when they, everything was mandatory? They had signs on cover your face, do this, do that. Probably not. No, probably not. No, because the government was like, "Oh, you have to do this. You have to do that." Bullshit. This is absolute bullshit. And again. It's outside his shop already. If you're that concerned about his face covering, why would you go back out to him? Makes no sense. Come back here now. Come back here, yes, look so he's going to play. Don't touch me. Why is you in my shop? Get I tried to come and tell you, sir. I tried I to come and be polite. Can I just be polite? No. Can we just have a no. conversation? Let me see your face then. Let me tell Get you. Get your face out, you. Let me tell you. Please, don't be violent. It's Please, don't shop. be violent. Down, That's please. why you come in to be polite, Get, sir. That's all. Get, I don't okay, want we won't talk to you. Phone the police. Phone the police. Phone the police. Come back here, guys. Is your face acting like then we don't want to show it? No. Come back, yes. Come back. Yes. So I was just stood here, and then start put look at. He's off. He's at him. I went in to be polite as well. Come back, you guys. Come back, yes. You dare. You dare, and you get arrested. You dare. You dare. This is my shop. You this is my shop. You dare, and you'll get arrested, mate. Okay. And I'll defend myself as well. I'll defend myself. Get out from me. I'll defend myself. If you cross that, I'll kick you. You won't kick me at all. Cross, you don't even know what Listen, I tried to come in and be polite with you, sir. I don't want you to come in, eh? I don't like you. You don't know me? No. I think me and you could be friends. Take your face out. I think me and you could be good friends. Come on, sir. Don't be like this. All right, then. So what that old guy has just done is a... Is committed a Section 3 Public Order Act of 1986, which is a fray. A fray, uh, subsection 1. A person is guilty of a fray if he uses threatening or unlawful violence towards another and his conduct is such as would cause a person of reasonable fairness present at the scene to fear for his safety. So the fact that he come out with a stick is a fray in itself. For the, for the purpose of this section, a threat cannot be made by the use of words alone, which it wasn't because he had a stick. This one's an important one. 
no person of reasonable fairness needs actually be or likely to be present at the scene. So uh, that clears up that somebody doesn't actually have to be there. And this one's an important one as well. A fray may be committed on private, in private as well as a public place. So he was in his shop, which is private, but it says uh, it still can be committed. So if what this person did was a fray. I, me personally, think taking our rights back is a person of reasonable fairness. Fairness, not fairness, fairness. So, and he probably felt uh, threatened, the fact that he come rushing to the door with a stick. And this is an important one. A person guilty of a phrase libel on conviction, indicted of an imprisonment for a term not exceeding three years, or a fan, or both. So remember. Three years is what you can get. Summary conviction of imprisonment for a term not exceeding six months or a fan not, not exceeding statutory minimum or both. So it is an indictable offence. You can get six months to three... Ooh, crap. What the hell is this? Six months to three years. Fair for free. You, you, we come in and try to be polite with you. And that's the, and that's and that's the thanks. I don't want you to. Oh, you know, I could have my bank card on me. And I could have been going to buy your watch. What's what we were looking at? The watches to see if we if we wanted one. Wow, I mate! I can't believe he's been like that. Are we said There's no need for that. Let's be peaceful. Come back to your side. Are you ever going to remain professional? Are you ever going to remain professional? Well, that didn't look very professional. Go on, come here, no, come here. Come here so you can see I'm talking to you. That's why I'm getting out right, of the Right, identify well. yourself first. Uh, PC 2634 Parry, mate. Oh, Parry. Parry. Oh, Parry. Self. PC 3430. Self. 2719 Swainston. Swainston. What's your name, miss? Carol. Carol. Is that first name or second name? Second name. What's your first name? Well, Wait, you right, the only thing you haven't done now is told us where you're based at. Stockton. 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 Yeah, but we're not mind readers. Are there any of you video on us? Not on yet at the moment. If God, no, 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 sorry, I do apologise, it is. Have you got yours on? Yeah. How long do you think? You look as though you've just left school, and I don't mean any disrespect, like. I haven't, I haven't just left school, but I'm still young, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. So How long have you been in the job? Not very long. So what's going on? What's, what's your plans today? I don't know why you've turned up, if I'm honest. It's just your faces are covered, and you've been stood around. We were getting ordered. We were getting ordered three years ago. Have our face covered? What's the difference? Well, I'll tell you what the, what the score was. What's what happened? We had a report. A report? Two, yeah, yeah, yeah. A report came through. It was two gentlemen yeah. uh, around the jeweller area. Just right. Putting the cameras in, just recording it. Oh, right. people concerned. Is that against law? Eh? Is that against law? So, so they had a call that like those two people recording there, the jewellers, and they got the face covered. So they sent three police officers or police constables to the scene. What about the person which is getting bagged, and you're like, sorry, we're too, we're too busy. We'll send somebody eventually. And then two weeks later, they send a PCSO, which is no good for nothing. And then they say they can't do nothing about it. This is what's wrong with our police. They turn up to non-crimes rather than go into proper crimes. And they're always like, we don't have the resources. We'll stop, stop, uh, stop sending people to a non-crime. Why, why, why two units then if it's not against the law? Why didn't you tell them that if the photographers... Well, right. Let me explain, have you? Oh, go on then. No, because I'm some because there's two... Again, because you've just shot over, isn't it? Like, okay, uh, sorry for interjecting, for officer. Uh, officer. Report that's come into us. Yeah. Do we face cover into a recording inside the shop? Inside? Record, okay. Record inside the shop from outside. Oh, okay, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, people are just intimidated by that. Intimidated? Yeah, yeah. People but it's a lawful be... activity. So people can be intimidated. So people can be intimidated if you're walking down the street. Yeah, is it lawful activity? Yeah, Would you get arrested for it? Would, yeah, yeah, would no, be, no, but listen, listen, listen. I've listened, listened to you. I've listened to you. Yeah, right, you, so, you haven't really, because you kept jumping over us. Well, I'm just at any point, I've just. I'm not saying you have. I'm not saying you have, have I? But 
Because I'm saying, right, what it is, it's a lawful activity, just like walking down the street is, yeah. right? So if somebody phoned and made a report and said, there's two lads walking down the street, uh, down the high street, would it, would it warrant a police, a police presence like this? And dogs as well. I mean, come on. No, they're just patrolling. Oh, yeah, one of them is. So everything is just described as a lawful activity. I remember doing this just before lockdown. Pulled up to the shop on my motorbike. Obviously, it was pretty cold outside, so I had my snow on, my helmet, my helmet on, obviously my gloves and everything, full gear. And instead of me taking all my my helmet off, my snow and sorting my plugs and everything out, I just took my gloves off, went into the shop and tried to buy my stuff. I got pulled by the security guards, so, you know, you can't wear all that. You need to take your helmet off. So I was like, fair enough. I took my helmet off and left me snow on. Didn't have a problem with that. My snow looks like a balaclava. But they didn't have a problem with that. And the minute it hit lockdown and all these restrictions was put in, not once did I get asked to take my helmet off. Not once. And I still don't get it asked now. So I don't understand the logic. It's not intimidating to see somebody in a snoo or a balaclava or a face covering. That was, the man ever still puts a bloody a nappy on his face. Same as what we were doing. But in the same way, in the same way, in the same way, yeah, you're all lawfully no, allowed can... to just do what you're doing now. And do you know right. what, can I, so can, I, can I interject? Yeah, Sorry, can I interject? What, what I'd have said would have been a good idea, right, is as soon as I've seen you, you were like, come here with a big oh, angry face. No, you were, you so were, you back, were. And I point you towards you to say, come here, you like with an angry face, right? But maybe, just a suggestion from myself, or whoever phoned you, right, it might have been a good idea to say, have the threatened you, negative, have the took photos, affirmative, or well, what it is, no, but listen, well, what it is then, so if all them questions have been asked, yeah. use and your controller, I don't know that there was no criminal offences. So committed, committed, let me, out. right? No, but just no. So what? What else do you do with? with so if I went in that shop, right? If I went in that shop and he barred me out of it, if he barred me out of it, it'd be civil, wouldn't it? You don't deal with civil, do you? We do if it's sorry. I can't hear you. Well, if it was a public order, you wouldn't deal with a, a trespass yeah. unless it was aggravated, and then you would, wouldn't right, you? That's what I'm saying. In the same way, you're lawfully allowed to do what you're doing. You've so got what the I same right just to come and make sure all's in order as well. You want to tell him, we? As we've done that. Tell him. Go on then, tell him. You can trot on now. I think it's time for you to well, be right, dismissed. Say, you don't dismiss us. I've we just dismissed you. We are ready. So there you go. They turn up to all sorts of things. They turn up to civil disputes. They, they waste their own time, as you've seen. This interaction should have been over now. Uh, what? Two minutes after they turned up, they found out exactly what they're doing. Like they say, they could be doing other things. But instead, the policing, non-policing things, or the police in the internet, and the police in this, and the police in that, but they're not actually going out to real crimes, like you said. Well, if somebody pawns us, we've got to turn up. No, you do not. No, you do not. I know people have phoned you about getting their house burgled, and you didn't turn up for weeks. So, no, you don't. You pick and choose which jobs you want to go to. That's the problem. And that's the problem with policing. People, officers like this. The interaction should have been gone when he said, oh, you can leave now. But his ego, because he didn't like being told that he can leave, is going to stand there and cops blame for longer. Right, and, and so were we from that jewellers. Yeah, exactly. Are you, mate? No, we're not. No, we're not. You're jumping the conclusions. Listen, do you know what I don't get? We've done a lot of activity. Your, your colleagues are saying, right, that. Will you identify yourself first of all, please? I can't read. 2695. A little of miles on there. But anyway, right, the have had a report that somebody's taking pictures of masked, masked up, mm -hmm. right, that people are taking pictures. We all know taking pictures is not a crime. We all know three years ago we were getting ordered to wear these. Mm -hmm. Again, wearing a mask, not a crime. So I'm saying, how does that warrant three units, not only a normal unit, matrix, dog section? Where have you come from, Liverpool? Well, we're still police officers, so we still... Yeah, still but have you come from Liverpool? Matrix? No, well, we haven't come from Liverpool. Oh, Cleveland. Right. Oh. Are you Cleveland as well? Because Matrix, I thought Matrix was Liverpool. No, it's in Cleveland as well now. Oh, is it? Is it a new thing? I'm sure these officers What does Matrix mean? Explain to you, haven't they? Well, yeah, but I'm trying to say to you, how does it warrant three? Because these haven't really explained. Right. They've said, oh, well, it's in... Uh, you're, the, you're the video on, but I'm saying... And they're saying, oh, 
they could feel intimidated. I'm saying I could be walking down the street. You could be walking down the street. Nah, and I could be intimidated. Now you're getting arrested. There's a criminal offence. If I phoned and said, I've just seen a lad just walking down the high street there. All he's doing is walking. Right. Would it warrant a response like this? But well, what we've done is we've, we've responded to a call to the police. Why? All right. Well, I could have just explained to you. You should have been telling the caller that, that it's a lawful activity, right. what the guys are doing. You're, what you do is you ask a lot of questions, but you don't allow for answers. Go on, then. So Sorry. we're trying to explain to you, but, but you don't yeah, you need no, to allow for answers because it's a conversation. Because you're cop-splaining. It? It's a conversation. Go on, then. Right. cop explain then. That's what I'm trying to do. Go on, then. If you let me speak. Go on, then. All right. So the conversation is the police have had a con have been contacted. Yeah. All right. By because there's two males, yourselves, who've been identified to the police. Yeah. All right. That are acting suspiciously around the town, filming things with balaclavas on. Balaclavas. It's a face covering for a start. Right. I, I, I know so the words that you choose to use, the words that you try to use, I think they're tip for that, isn't it? The words that you're covering, you're covering your face essentially. So that's why we've been called, and that's it. Okay then. So we're gonna go look at this instant uh, where four bodies were found there. Uh, uh, Northwich, and what actually happened? Well, this headline says it all done it. Please ignore nan 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 call and hours before family of four were found dead. So, this family did phone nan nan nan, or somebody in the family did. They ignored it, and what do you know? People died. So, no, they don't turn up to every single bloody phone call today, like they said they do look. And yeah. I ain't doing that. So yeah, it, it, it's a lot of bollocks what this what this air uh, constable's saying. We know that the police have referred themselves to to uh, referred themselves to the Independent Investigations Bureau, whatever. Which we all know they're not gonna find nothing because they protect themselves, don't they? Received a 999 call at 6.30, blah de blah If you want to read this, I'll lead, uh, leave a link in the description for it. But the police didn't turn up. This guy here ended up murdering them all and himself. After a police phone call, which they ignored. Yes, they ignored the phone. So does that say, oh, you ring and we'll come? No, it does not, does it? Because they ignored this one and four people ended up dead. What we were ordered to do this for a year ago, covering your faces is it against the law, best and far more. I'm not saying that. Right. But right. What, we, what, what I won't do is get into a... But it could, no, I don't want to argue. I know, what you, I know what you guys do. All right, I've seen you many a time. You haven't seen me. Right. Well, I've seen you many a time, so I know what you guys do, but... So if you've seen me many we've, times, we've you'll have seen the good interactions that I've had yeah, with constables. Yeah, good interaction. But when I, do you know what it is? It's we're, frustration. We're to you. Do you know what it is? Let me... What's your name? Sorry. PC McDonald's. PC McDonald's, yeah. right. I'll be honest and open and transparent with you. It's frustration because what it is, you had the perfect opportunity to educate people instead right. of coming. Right, and now we've got three three units all on us and everyone's looking well, at us. We're going to leave in a minute. Yeah, but it's already, the, the, the um, humiliation's already there, isn't it? But well, you're because you're walking around town with your face covered after suspiciously. But it's not against the law. You do right. law, you well, police you're, you're the after, law. Suspicious so, in no, itself is not a crime. Is it? That's you're why I'm getting frustrated. No, but suspicious. It's not a crime. But you don't have to speak. You're acting, you're acting suspiciously, right? right? Somebody's rang in and thinks they think that you're acting suspiciously. Right. So rang the police and we've come down. What you're up to, you've explained that. We've explained why we're in. That's it, really. Okay, then. What so if I phoned up? No, now there's no need to hold up three units. I know. But well, can I ask you one longer? question, then? You what if I phone up and say, I find it suspicious that he's selling uh, cod and not addict? Would you, would you come? Do you know what, I think we're getting a little bit childish now, aren't we? No, but it's the same principle. No, it's not. It's illegal, it's a lawful activity. Well, it's not because he's, he's not covering his face walking around filming the front of the shots. But we keep Listen, saying... Filming jewellers. But we keep right, film, saying... Filming jewellers and you've got two people outside with balaclavas on. Right, OK. Can, but can we you keep... not see how that's suspicious? Well, I, I, I think you can. Do you know what I do this for? What? Educational purposes. I think there was a perfect opportunity for the police mm -hmm. to educate them. Now, you hope you go and have a word with the guy in the shop. Because you know what, anyone who's committed a criminal offence is him on Assault and does try to rob me, try to rob my phone. So I don't see what's suspicious about filming. I don't see what's suspicious about wanting to protect your identity in public. End of the day, there's cameras everywhere, and not just that, them putting their facial recognition on most of these cameras as well. So I don't see what is suspicious about that at all. What I will say is suspicious how the police turn up 
all of the time for this sort of stuff, but don't turn up for real crimes, as you see in that last one in Norfolk. Police didn't, didn't turn up to a 999 call for people dead. That's not unusual to see anymore. It's in the papers all of the time. All of the time, that sort of stuff. The stories you hear where people get in, like bag old, the vandal, the house getting vandalized and stuff like that. And the police don't turn up. Those vandals could break in and murder these people or cause them serious damage. The the burglars could go upstairs and cause them serious harm. But yet they turn up to stuff like this. So that's not weird. He's the only one who's committed a criminal offence. But you know what? I don't want to make a complaint. But it's all on it's all on camera. And if I got arrested, then I would. But then I'd be arm twist up my back, sort uh, sort of thing. And then I'd have to, wouldn't I? Right. You know. But listen, and, and that's it. Mr. Mr. There's, no, there's nothing any more. There's no. There's nothing more to it than that. Yeah, but so but it's, there's no point prolonging the conversation. You were saying that I'm not seeing it from now, your we? no, because you were saying I'm not seeing it from your point of view. Mm -hmm. You're not seeing it from our point of view, yeah. neither. Right. Is that your own nature, though? Do you think? What do you mean? Like, because you're you're only seeing it from the, from your place where you're placing cap on. I don't mean that. No, I'm seeing it. I, right. If I was a member of the, listen to me. If I was a member of the public, just walking around without without uniform on, all right, doing my day to day business, and I seen two people outside of a jeweller's. From what we've been told, lurking around the jewellers with balaclavas on, would I think it was suspicious? Do you know yes? what I've done first? I would. Do you know what I've done would first? You not, would you not feel the same? So again, is conveniently leaving out key points. Like, the key point there was people round a jeweler's recording. So, yes, they had balaclavas on, but he missed out a key point recording. When you phone 999 and you're like, oh, there's somebody outside my shop recording, oh, he's got a face covering on, they should be like, well, and. And give me more information. What's he said? What's he done? What is he doing? If he's just there recording. I know what, we'll get in touch with the camera guys in the area and see, you know what I mean? In, in Chester, they have people sat on the cameras in, in the town centre and they monitor them all the time. They have radio signals to the police, radios to the police, so they could just be like, we'll watch him for a bit, yes, maybe we should go. It's as simple as that. Well, if he'd have told you the truth, then maybe. I went in, right, and said to him, listen, mate. So you mate, can see all point then, can't you? No, listen, I went in, right, listen. I went in. You obviously haven't been told the truth. So I went in, I said to him, are you, mate? I said, we're photographers. We're just going to get some pictures. Get out of my shop, get out of my shop. I went, listen, let's stay cordial. I've come in so, you, so to alleviate any of this. Because I didn't want this. You know what I mean? Well, we're going to go now, so well, listen, now you don't have to have it. What kind of dog have you got? I've, I've got, got a Mali. I've got two dogs. One's a, one's yeah, a Spaniel. Spaniel. And one's a shepherd herd across. What, Dutch? Dutch, Dutch, Dutch area. Area. I've got I've got a Mali, but I've rescued, a, a, um, I've rescued what I thought was a Belgian Malinois, right? right? But I think he's a cross between a Belgian Malinois and um, a Staffy, I think. Right. But I think he's had a bad life. We went over that and he's a bit reactive. So it's going to cost me 200 quid. So you quid. Or to other people? Well, to other people. Right. But I'm going to have to take him to where um, oh, he's called Danny Wells. He's over in St. Helens. Right, okay. um, unleashed dog training. It's, under, it's 200 quid for an hour and a half assessment. But it's, I think he's worth it. Yeah, well, you know what I mean? Invest a little bit of time and money in. Yeah. And but my other one, my other one, I got her from a pup. Sorry, I went to get again. I got her from a pup. She's like, she's four year old in, in April. I've done all the training with myself. I haven't done all the protection work and all that. Because I think them kind of dogs. And, and what do you think about the um, American, what's it called now? That, um, in the news all arm. What's that? The dog that's in the news all arm, what's it called again? The XL Bully. The XL Bully. Listen, you know, as a dog handler, mm -hmm. it's not the dog, mate, it's the dickhead, the knobhead well, at the end of the lead, isn't it? There's legislation coming yeah, in place. Yeah, but what, the legislation should be coming in place. Mm -hmm. Do you know what it is? You shouldn't be able to just go somewhere and buy a dog. There should be stringent legislation, I think. Because I'm sure you'll agree. Well, hopefully, hopefully this will work and it'll stop the. Well, it didn't stop. stop. Well, it didn't stop, did it? With the pit bulls, it didn't stop with the Rottweilers. Well, you know what I mean? It's just going from dog to dog to dog. When's the government going to realise that? You know what? It's not a dog. It's a knobhead at the end of the lead. Mm. Fashion, acce fashion accessories. Blah blah blah. Right. You know what I mean? Where there should be, I think, some stringent legislation where what it is you've got to prove that you're capable. Because it's not just a point, a case of getting the dog and feeding it, and that's it. Mm. You know, it's you've a lot got, of looking after, I, yeah, I think you should be. Time, I think time you should effort. prove that you're a responsible. You've got what it takes, and if you haven't, then you can't have the dog. So unfortunately, what is on about this legislation to prove that you can have the dog, I do not agree with at all. I do agree that there should be something in place to stop dickheads from being able to have the dog. I've got Rottweilers. Had two Rottweilers, but only got one now. If they had some sort of legislation in there, it would be like a criminal background check and. 
blah de blah de blah because at the end of the day, the dog is classed as a deadly weapon. It's that simple. I would never pass that, but I'm in more control of my dog than I see 99% of the people out walking their dogs. So I don't agree with putting in some sort of test or something like that because they'll just force you to pay for that test or that license or whatever. Or you'll have to go through really stream really, really stringent tests or background checks to get it. So no, I don't agree with you on that. What I do think they should do is the same thing they did with microchips, make it mandatory. But make it mandatory to have pet insurance. If they made it mandatory to get pet insurance, it would stop people who can't afford to own a dog having a dog. It would stop dogs from being in the wrong hands because, like I say, if you can't afford it, you can't get it. It's that simple. And it'll also stop a lot of dogs from suffering. Because if your pet's insured, you can afford the medical bills. It's that simple. The insurance pays for it. And if it does attack somebody, your insurance will cover all of that. It it still leaves you liable for having a dangerous and out-of-control dog for all those idiots who think, oh, I'm a responsible owner because I've got pet insurance like the, like on that poster did. Oh, I'm responsible. I've got pet insurance. It doesn't matter that my dog shredded a child or whatever. Well... Having a dangerous and out-of-control dog in a public place is still a criminal offence, even if your pet insurance is there to cover it. doesn't cover you for not being in control of your animal. But, like I say, I do think they should make it mandatory to have pets insured. If they did that, it would stop a lot of pets getting neglected on the streets. It will stop a lot of bad owners being able to get them or can't afford them. It will stop a lot of that stuff in my eyes. I'm not saying it will work, but... It's better than putting some stupid test in place, which will stop people like me, which is a very responsible pet owner and dedicated trainer to my dog. You know what I mean? And then it's well, we'll, see, we'll see what we Don't you think that would be a good idea? Listen, I say you've got that blue, that blue. Why wouldn't, would you right, wear... I'll see how, how you go about Yeah, that, but would you wear one? If I got one designed down the proper channels, right? For the people who died in place custody, been, would you wear one I alongside think we've been it? Fair enough with you, and I won't engage. No, in, I'm just asking in, you, in would you wear one? Would you? I'm not You've been going around long enough now to different forces and different stations. Listen, and with numerous different I want to get a badge. And you're going along about the same thing constantly. I know, because so I every time I try, that, listen, though, let me tell you, every time I try, I make the brick wall. I won't take any more time of your time or my time because, every like, time you said, I try, like you said, there's three units here that didn't need to be here. So now we've explained, I think, cleared everything up. Yeah. We'll all be on our way. Mr. McDonald, listen. Excellent, you take care. And you, don't be broke, lads, and anyone on the street, you, because I get a bad feeling about you. Sorry? I get a bad feeling about you. I'm sorry for your life. They always say, go where you got down there. He, yep. Mr. McDonald was sound. Right, I didn't yeah. get no bad feelings about him. Miss what are you doing, gents? Let me ask him. Two seconds. Two seconds. Two seconds. One second. Was this an emergency? Was this an emergency? Why didn't you have your blue lights on? Why are you on the highway? Why are you on the footpath? I'm complaining about you. See you later. You're dismissed. And there you go, guys. All that. All right, then. So I've had like two bits of rants in this video. I know quite a lot of you like the rants. I am trying to be careful of what I say because I can be extremely offensive and I don't want to lose the channel. I know it's happened to quite a lot of people which are extremely offensive and quite blunt. But yeah, this interaction, like I say, the police just chat shit. Complete chat shit. The guy committed an affray, but he probably didn't mention that on the phone because if he had made it down the phone, like I say, it's six months to three years. I know I had two affrays on my uh, charge sheet. Well, I didn't. I had like six affrays or something on my charge sheet, but good solicitor, blah, blah, here. Yeah. So in this case, my my thoughts on this interaction the police need to do better, need to turn up to more serious jobs rather than these non-crimes. They need to ask more questions to figure out what's thinking and use the tools that are available to them, like the, all the uh, camera people will watch the cameras 24-7. Use them to monitor the, monitor the situation, see what's actually happening, and then see if it's uh, something they need to attend to or not. But... This is all just my thoughts. Let us know in the comments down below what you thought of this interaction. As always, like the video, it does open YouTube's algorithm. And I'll catch you on the next one.